Hey guys, it's me, DDP, and welcome to another Motivational Monday. Today is November 6, 2017. And my quote today comes from Forrest Gump. My mama always said, you got to put the past behind you before you move on. The point is you can't hold on to things. You can't hold on to all that negativity. It reminds me of my relationship with Ric Flair. You know, over the years, I've said some things, he said some things, and you know, I just didn't want to live like that because I love Ric Flair, like so many people. Woo! I was at an autograph signing that I knew he was gonna be at too. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna talk to him. He was like, hey, Diamond. I'm like, hey, Rick. I said, can I talk to you for a sec? He said, sure. So I pulled him off to the side and I said, you know, Rick, I know over the years, you and I have had some, you know, some heat together. He's like, oh, Diamond, don't worry about that. I said, Rick, I ain't worried about it, bro. I wanna fix it. I don't, I don't want you to feel that way about me, man. I, I don't wanna feel this way about you. You know, I love Ric Flair. I said, I would love to start all over again. And I put my hand out and said, I'm Diamond Dallas Page. <laughs> man, he gave me the biggest hug. God bless you, blah, blah, blah. And it was over. And you know, I'm really big on thanking people that I appreciate helped me in my life, in my career. And I know in 1999, when I walked into the ring with the Hulkster, the Stinger, and the Nature Boy, like, I know that he's gonna take the diamond cutter in the middle. One, two, three. I know that if he does that, it's gonna change my life. It's gonna put me at a different spot. And he didn't have to do it, but he did. And that meant a lot to me. But I never told him, so I saved it for the Hall of Fame. I wanna thank you, Ric Flair. Thank you. Thank you, Rick, for changing my life that night and moving me one step closer to this podium. Because nature, I will never forget it, man. And I am truly thankful. Later that weekend, I see him at the bar, waves me, I, I come around, I have a drink with him. And he says, so what time are you leaving in the morning? I said, uh, I got a 7.30 flight. He went, whoo! Who booked that? I said, not me. He said, you're not taking that flight. I got a Learjet. I'm flying you and Brenda back to Atlanta with me. He goes, I got you covered. When we landed, Brenda <laughs> tells him it's my birthday the next day. Woo, we're not going anywhere yet. We're out to his favorite restaurant, have a hell of a meal, and he sends me home in a limousine. That's how my career ended. On that note, it never really happens like that if I don't let the past go, if Rick doesn't let the past go. You know, it's all about how you hold on to it. You can hold on to it and boil you up, or you can let it go and own it. Think about it. But I also want you to know Tomorrow, November 7th, Ric Flair's 30 for 30. Don't miss it.